Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today, I've got a box full of stuff from Chewy.com, and they are Mandalorian dog and cat toys, so stay tuned. And hey, if you love our videos and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. Sea Rad. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. You see, I've got a big chewy box here. I actually was scrolling through my Facebook the other day, and, you know, thanks to my mother-in-law buying from Chewy a lot, and it being on the same IP address, some chewy stuff popped up in my newsfeed, because Facebook knows that, one, I like The Mandalorian, two, I like Baby Yoda, three, my mother-in-law shops at Chewy, so yeah, I had to grab them because they had some new items on there that to me were just totally, totally stinking adorable. So I've got three Mandalorian items here in the box and one Toy Story item, three for dogs, one for cats. So let's do this. Let's unbox and review these puppies for you. We are going to start with the Toy Story items, guys. We all know I love the little green alien dudes from Toy Story. And I have this pretty much Pizza Planet obsession. I love Pizza Planet. What can I say? So I got these, you know, I'm not using any of this stuff as dog toys. The cat toy I might use, but I'm going to keep it here in the room so the dogs don't eat it. But I got these actually because they are about the same size as New Emos. And I thought... Maybe, just maybe, I might be able to transform these cute little alien dudes into something I can use for the new emo house. And yay, the Pizza Planet box is feels exactly like I thought it would. And that's going to be a little pillow for Fisher's bed. So let's get these out of the bag and see how they look up close. So the aliens are super cute and super adorable. They're not quite what I expected them to be, but... I can open the stitching in the back and add some armature into them if I need to, just to kind of make them more new emo compatible. They're they're not as thick as I thought they were going to be, and their legs, yeah, they, they are super cute. I might put some armature in their arms. They do have squeakers inside, and I'd probably remove those as well, but size-wise, they are perfect, and yeah, I think they are totally, totally adorable. The Pizza Planet box, guys! That doesn't have a squeaker in it at all, and it's just full of fluff. No squeaker. Oh, wait, nope, there's a squeaker at the bottom. Sorry, I apologize. It has a small squeaker that's at the bottom of it. But no, I think it will make a perfect pillow for Little Fisher's bed. He already has a pizza pillow that he sleeps with, so this will be a definite compliment to that. The next item, guys, is a cat toy. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. It's like one of those little fishing pole cat toys. But look at, look at the cute little Grogu in the pod. That is super adorable. And it is supposed to have catnip in it. But yep, little Grogu in the pod is chasing the little Sorghum frog. <laughs> I love and adore this. I think this is really super cute. But I wonder what Willie would think of it. Let, let's go see if we can film him playing with that. So guys, how super adorable is Wilson with that toy? He's just, he's like the bestest cat in the world, but yeah, definitely on a scale of totally bad to totally rad, 
this little thing is definitely a totally rad. I will let him play with it from time to time, but I think I'm going to find somewhere in here to hang it in the background. Yeah, I think I can hang it off of one of the shelves or my bookcase so that it's dangling down. But yeah, love it and so glad I got this one. It was $9.98 for this. Definitely worth it for the cuteness. The next item is actually the reason I saw that they had new Mandalorian toys on Chewy.com. And it's this one right here. And I know you guys are like, well, what is it? It's in a bag. So let me grab it out and show you. It's a little sand crawler. And it has little stuffy toys inside. Now, our dogs have a bunch of these. My mother-in-law has, like, the squirrels and the log and the aliens and the spaceship. And what you do is just stuff the toys inside, and then the dogs can pull them out and play with them. So they pull them out through the hole there. And look, we've got a little Mando. How super adorable. There we go. There's little Mr. Mando. And he even has his little cape there. Super, super adorable and cute. It also comes with a little Jawa. Oh, adorable little Jawa. These kind of remind me of the itty bitties. So yeah, definitely have to hide those from the dogs so they don't think that my itty bitties are dog toys. And yeah, I saved the best one for last, guys. It's little Grogu in the pod. Look at him in his little pram. That is super, super cute. It's actually almost exactly the same as the one on the cat toy, just a little bit bigger. But I think these are all totally, totally adorable. And I love the sand crawler too. Guys, look at the details on it. And it's like a heavy canvas material where, you know, dogs aren't supposed to destroy it really easy. Not my dogs. My dogs chew everything apart within like 30 minutes. But definitely really cute super and totally rad this entire set on chewy.com was $19.99 totally worth the price to me and again my dogs won't be playing with any of these because I'm just adding them here in my collection and the final item may just be one of the best Mandalorian Grogu in the pod things I have ever seen you ready guys look at this this is supposed to be a dog toy. Guys, we've been waiting for a plush like this and just regular for so, so long. I mean, yeah, there's plenty of pram plushes out there and the Build-A-Bear pram and all kinds of things, but look, it keeps its shape. How totally rad is that, guys? Unfortunately, the reason it keeps its shape is, yeah, Grogu doesn't come out of the pod there. It is all kind of plush dog toy underneath, so it's just half of his body sticking out of that. But guys, Disney, Mattel, Hasbro, how hard would it be to make a pod like this, put plush in it, but have a doll that can be removed, like put kind of a hole in the plush, and it would keep its shape and look totally, totally super like this one does. I mean, guys, look at his face. Look at the details. He is just all so totally super cute. He's a mixture of that kind of canvassy dog toy material and actual soft plush. So, yeah, I think, again, this is one of the best, if not the best, little Grogu in a pram plushes that I have ever seen. And I, if your dog tears things apart, I can't see giving it to them, especially not mine. But this dude right here, I, I just, I'm so in love with him. And guys, he was only $9.98. 10 bucks for this. Less than, you know, if they sold this as an actual plush instead of a dog toy, it would probably be around $20, $25, $30. So, yeah. If you want this one, definitely snag it. I think, I have a feeling this one's going to go fast. So, yep, if he's available, grab him while you can, guys. And I will put the links to all of these in the description of the video, as long as they're still available. So you can check them out for yourself if you want to. So, guys, what do you think? What do you think of all of the things today? Do you think they're all totally rad like I do? Every single one of these items was just definitely on the totally rad list. And I think, actually, this one this one goes beyond totally rad for me. And I hope Chewy keeps coming out with some more stuff. They do have other things on there. They have other toys. They have collars. I think they have t-shirts, like pet t-shirts, too. 
So yeah, definitely check out the Star Wars section on Chewy, and check out the Disney section too, guys, because, yeah, I could have spent like three weeks worth of paychecks on that site, but I did not. But I'm so glad I got these to review for you guys, because they are super cute, and of course, if they come out with anything new and totally rad in the future, I will definitely review them for you. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right, little dude? We'll see you later.